Good afternoon, everybody. It's a Wednesday. It's cool. We start in five seconds. You know the script. Make sure you've warmed up. You haven't warmed up. Warm the video. Stretch off. Make sure it's nice and warm. Here we go. We start with the job. We go in five seconds. You can see the timer. Let's get warmed up. Nice and simple today. All about the core. Everything in here is going to be worked. We're going to feel it today. Shake it all out. Shake that, that day away. Some of you will be doing it first thing, I understand. There won't be too many in the morning, I'm sure. From here, then we're just going to go into simple windmills. Just so literally just windmill your way around. We go in five seconds. Here we go to the switch. Two, one. Nice and steady. I'm not expecting to reach the floor just yet. Feel the stretch across and around your core. I can feel it in my lower back, so I'm going to take it nice and steady. Make sure your head follows your shoulders. So, the third session of the week, and we get on with yesterday. I got told off so many times on Monday, although it was mixed on Monday. Here we go, we switch again, simple jumping jacks. So Monday's session was an all-over session. It was divided really. Half the group said it was too difficult. Half the group said it was fantastic. And there was a few in the middle of it there. Oh, I thought it was quite tough actually for all over. So I apologise for that. Yesterday we did a love impact session. And again it's been divided. Mixed opinions. Yes, it was good. Jog it out then. Mixed opinions on the low impact. The way it was very low impact, I must be must have been, but I did a lot of sweaty buckets. And there was a lot of people that said the same, it was really, really quite a sweaty session. But I think probably the main set was quite straightforward and it was the core that we got a bit of a sweat on. But hey, if we're not sweating, we're not working. We want to make sure we're working hard during these sessions. Five to go then. Into windmills again, nice and simplistic. Follow it through. Feeling the hamstrings as well. Get it a little, a little bit lower now. Almost touching the side of my toes. I can feel I'm touching my toes on my left foot, not on my right, which tells me I'm a little bit tight around down my right side. Two, one, jumping jacks in. All we're doing is raising the heart rate. Throw your arms up in the air if you need to. Warm up the shoulders, you might need to do the third set, that's for sure. Although it's core, it's not simplistic, it's not really straightforward in the sense of it's not going to be easy, but it's as difficult as you want to make it. Six to go then, last set, we're going to a more of a run. Let's warm ourselves up. Two, one, jog it through, run it through, get those shoulders working. On the windmills, we should almost be touching the floor. Should. Doesn't mean you have to. When we go to the main set, we're going to start with mountain climbers. And it's not, it's not a cardio, it's not pure cardio core section. So the mountain climbers can be slow. If you want to really work it, put some pace into the mountain climbers. Here we go. Windmills then. I like to get a little bit of a sweat on even in a core session. So I might go a little bit quicker than I need to, but slow and control, engage the core on the way through, is what we're looking to achieve. Feel those abs, concentrate the muscle groups that we're going to use. Two, one, jump into stacks and into stars, get the shoulders warmed up. We go mountain climbers, follow that with seated kick outs. Cross climbers, seated twists, spine climbers, a three climber combo. Seated flat kicks, up down planks, planks, side planks, side planks, five. Flat kicks, side plank, oh, that's a lovely one. Five, three, two, one. Well done, shake it through. Remember, top to bottom in about 25 minutes, tops really. Let me reset the clock. 40 seconds on, 10 seconds off. 
wide as we can. I've got a leg workout to do straight after this. We've been set by the old physio to sort my back out. I've got a weak glute and weak hamstring. Here we go, we're going five seconds. We're going into mountain climbers. Press up position then. Three, two, one. Follow my lead if you want to. That's a good pace. Where I'm at now is a good pace. I'm quite lucky here. I've taken my, my shoes off and I can slide my feet on the mat. A little bit of cheek, really. So you've got a shiny floor. You probably get away with it as well. But my core's engaged. Yes, it's a little bit shoulder heavy. That's unfortunate. That's the nature of the exercise. So we're going to go a couple of climbers, three climbers on the bounce really. We're not necessarily straight through though. We're switching exercises between. Two, one, well done. Main stayer today, get your positions early. Seated position then, fingers pointed towards your toes, seated kick out, lean back and out. Here we go. Nice and steady, nice and controlled. You're feeling strong. Go left and right. Mix it up a bit. A little bit of variety. Low and high. You'll feel it for working. If it's too difficult, tap forward, tap back, down and back. But when you're strong, get your feet off the ground, lean back on it out. You've got six to go. You might feel it in the hip flexors a little bit, but that's why we stretch it out. Two, one, straight to press up position then. We're going cross fibers, which is opposite knee, opposite elbow. Three, two, one. Nice and steady. Feeling your obliques. Two, 
things now. So 8,000, 12,000, what do you set yourself? I smashed five miles this morning, 5.25 miles this morning, before work. And again, if I can do it, you can do it as well. It doesn't matter your fitness level. It doesn't matter if you're running quickly, whether you're running, whether you're walking. It doesn't matter. Just do something. That poor dog sat in the bed, not been out. Because we can't be to get out and take the dog for a walk. Get out amongst it. Back into the hands, please.